Ho, ho, ho! Sunny and in the 70s, but snowballs were flying this evening in downtown San Antonio. Somehow he looks like Jack Frost. How do I look like... Oh, I am Jack Frost. However, controversy has surrounded Travis Park for months, first involving a Confederate statue and now a Christmas tree. That was the first thing that I thought, and I thought Travis Park. I was like, oh, maybe they're just trying to bring positivity back to this area. It's a good place for it. There shouldn't be any controversy about the tree being there. The statue, removed by the city back on September 1st, now replaced with a Christmas tree that had been located near the Alamo for more than 30 years. It's not going to be there, so it's going to be different. Kind of threw us off. We were looking for it over there, but then it's like, you got no we started idea. asking around. And so they, were, they moved it over here. Some officials have received criticism for the move, but District 1 City Councilman Roberto Trevino stands by the decision. It's a wonderful message uh, to, for the city to, to have something like this that everybody can celebrate and can bring everyone together and it shows that this park is welcoming to all. Police watched over the crowd of thousands as families came together, sending letters to Santa, right to Santa, and celebrating as the tree lit up from its new spot. It doesn't matter where they put it at, you're still going to be in San Antonio either way. The crowd is good, the band's good, a lot of stuff for the young people to do, really enjoying it.